Welcome back everybody to Central Minnesota Firewood. My name is Eli. This is part two of our little roadside stand build. So I have some solar powered lights that we'll add. Last night when it was dark I was kind of messing around with light placement just to get the area kind of lit up pretty well and I think what I'm going to end up doing is putting one at each corner. That really lights up the area well and the lights shine down so it's not going to be shining in your eyes if you do come here at night. And then I have a cash box that I ended up having to pick up at our local Menards because that one that I ordered on Amazon never showed up ended up having to cancel that order and uh, kind of disappointed because that was a heavier duty actual cash box where this is just kind of a locking mailbox I'm not real worried about any theft at the time being so it'll work um, it's not ideal I don't think but we'll get those things installed and then we'll do a little walk around I'm I'll leave a link in the description for these lights. There are three different settings. One is motion activated, one uh, turns on right at dusk, and then I think stays on for about three hours, uh, both morning and night. And then one that stays on, as soon as it gets dark, it turns on and stays on all night, which is what I'm gonna end up using, I believe. Um, but there'll be a link in the description, so if you wanted to pick these lights up, I think that I got both of them. It was a pair of lights, and I think it was $12 for the pair. So. There'll be a link for that in the description. There'll also be like a cut list, um, kind of a step-by-step -step guide as far as what I did when I built this stand and links to like a place where you could get the trailer and a couple of the other things that I used here. There's that. We'll open up this cash box I want you get a look at it. I haven't opened it up yet, but this is what it is. I'm assuming that you can pick this up at any of your local, like home stores, Home Depot, Lowe's, Menards here, and probably multiple other spots. It was, again, I believe this was $20 or just less than $20, which is actually cheaper than the one that I had ordered on Amazon. But like I said, I, I believe that that one was a little better as far as um, a little bit more sturdy and the way this looks I don't know I might want to close that gap up you guys be the judge let me know if you think that's going to be an issue I guess I'll just have to monitor if there is any theft going on um, like I said I don't believe that's going to be a problem but I'm going to We'll rip a little piece of half inch plywood to set inside this so that there's a little bit more bulk to the back because it is, it's, it's recessed. And I don't want my screws that I put in there to pull that thing back because it is pretty light duty. Really light duty. I don't know, this thing might not work very well. Um, we'll see. So what I have here is two pieces of 5 8 inch plywood that were scraps that I'm going to attach. To, this is a 2 by 10 so there'll be plenty of bulk. Um, the, the weakest part of this is going to be the actual cash box itself. And it's going to keep the honest people out. Anybody who wants to steal from me is going to be able to, which is kind of the case in any, any scenario regardless of what we're dealing with on an everyday scenario anyway. So it kind of just is what it is. And mess with heights where it's easy to get to. I think that's probably gonna be where we leave it. So mark that.
And there's a couple of holes here in the bottom. It's pretty sturdy. Get the lock on, and I'm just gonna, I'll take a um, paint marker and write pay here on top of there. Um, but we can get a quick walk around. And I don't, I, I don't plan on putting anything in the back here for now. I mean, obviously these bundles will be back there, but I will, as they start disappearing, I'll just start moving them to the front. Um, but I am going to add some sort of protection to the top edge or the bottom edge of the steel. I haven't quite figured out what I want to do there yet. Well, it'll work as long as nobody really wants to get in there. We'll be fine, but we'll just have to find out if something is happening theft-wise. I'll just have to come up with a new solution. But now we just have to tackle that little back edge there. I think what I'm just going to do is maybe sandwich that with a couple little pieces of wood and paint them black. And... Uh, That'll make that safe enough that I don't want to have to worry about anybody bumping their head on it. <laughs> 